Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are going to be covering the uh, Unit Location Hotkeys mod. Uh, this one is quite new, a few days old, but it is a pretty cool feature that I haven't really seen yet in Factorio. And it does kind of remind me of a few things uh, that you might see in like an RTS game. Um, so what this allows you to do is essentially uh, like mark sections in your map in your factory or, or map um, that you can then easily jump to with uh, a press of a hotkey or by clicking on the shortcuts um, within the menu for this mod. Um, it's pretty straightforward uh, how to use it and I think it's super helpful. So uh, we're going to start here. I've set up a few and um, the first one we're going to start with is the lab. So um, I set up one for labs, a couple locations, and one for red circuits. You can also, uh, as the uh, instructions here indicate you can set up spider trons and following them uh, as well um, if you want to do that so that is an option too but I think at least for me most useful would be the locations because you know if you have a huge map or whatever or if you're at an outpost and you want to go see something in your factory or vice versa you know sometimes if you have a huge map you don't want to be like scrolling around or you know whatever or like a ribbon world even this would be good so um, how you use this is you come up here and you can either hold shift to immediately add your current location if you want to do that um, and then while selecting you shift plus left click to only select vehicles um, so if we like take this here um, so basically if I take this and do uh, hold shift and then that you know can select a vehicle like that um, we can try it on a spider tron too I did place one down so I'm gonna do this I'm not just holding shift I'm, I'm doing this I'm, I'm clicking the button and then holding shift and left clicking and it adds a spider tron here um, so you can see um, I just picked a remote for this um, and I've, I've already assigned a remote to the spider tron so basically how this works is uh, via the instructions here I hold control and then click on this to um, actually bring up the remote to then control the spider tron um, if you want to do that um, or if you want to say I send this off somewhere and I want to uh, hold shift you can see I hold shift and click it and it's now following it which is super helpful with other vehicles maybe trains this would be useful and uh, not so much like vehicles you would man um, but this is really cool you can just close out of it here uh, now in terms of locations um, you can just hold shift if I want to just add my location um, I, I am holding shift and it's not really doing anything so perhaps that doesn't quite work um, but you can click this and then um, you can like drag and select entities um, or anything like that so what I did with the labs I just selected a lab um, if I click this boom I jump to the location I selected or if I want to jump to red circuits it jumps me to red circuits or these other locations that I've set up here uh, which is really cool and, and makes it super easy to navigate around your factory. Uh, you could jump, jump to the tank, etc. Uh, now, if you want to edit these, um, you can right click them. So, if you want to like change the icon of it, you can do that. If you want to change the name of it, you can do that. Um, the index, uh, I think this maybe just changes like what position it's in. Yeah, so it just swaps them essentially if you want to change what position it's in there. Um, and then recipe, if you want to set recipes and signals, you can do that. Location, you could change the location um, if you want to like re reselect an area. Um, and then the zoom as well, you can kind of select like how close or far away it zooms, which is pretty awesome. Or you can just do max world zoom, uh, which is really, really nice settings here, all pretty intuitive. And uh, there are a few settings for this mod. So if we go into mod settings, uh, nothing to start up or map, but per player, you can pick remote when using hotkey. Uh, which is what I demonstrated. You can set this to only if the cursor is empty or just never. Uh, or start, and then the start following when using hotkey automatically follow the target when using a keyboard hotkey. Um, which is not selected, but I did show it. So I'm a little um, confused on that option there. But there's a default. It's by default not selected and it did work. Um, so there's that for you guys. I think it's super helpful. Like, you know, I, I, I'm playing a ribbon world right now and it takes forever to scroll across the map because the, the map is like 100,000 tiles or something. Um, so just being able to quickly jump between like locations would be super, super useful. Um, and there you go. That's the mod. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them below. Um, as always, there is a link in the description to the mod portal page where you can check this out if you'd like. Uh, and if you did enjoy, a like is appreciated. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.